Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in a previous video, we had a thorough look at even and odd functions. Uh, we looked at both their geometry, that is their symmetry, and we also studied uh, how to algebraically check if they're even or odd, right? Uh, and the geometry of the symmetry was pretty straightforward. We saw that if it was symmetric about the y-axis, the function was even, and if it's symmetric about the um, x and y-axis, then it's odd. And yes, I said if it's symmetric about the x and y axis, and this is what I mean. If we take this here in the first quadrant, reflect it first over the y, and then over the x axis, it would become this. And we could have done it in the other order, which is first reflect over the x, and then over the y, and it would become this, right? This here. Yeah? Okay, cool. So that's what even and odd functions meant, like visually or symmetrically. So if you have the functions uh, graph, this is how you'd quickly tell if it's even or odd. Now, the algebraic check had steps and it was a careful check and what I'm gonna do in this video is teach you a shortcut uh, that doesn't require the careful algebraic check if the function is polynomial remember in that same aforementioned video uh, we started with this question here and we looked at three functions f g and h uh, which were in that order odd even and neither and we went through checking this and this as required to decide if they were odd even or neither now as I said this shortcut will not work if the function is not polynomial for example we know that sine is odd and cosine is even and the shortcut I'm about to teach you does not help in deciding if sine is odd and cosine is even however if the function is polynomial it turns out that there is a shortcut and um, yeah so this is what you would do and should do if you were say taking an SAT math level 2 test that asked you if a given function is even or odd uh, you don't need to have like the thorough understanding although the thorough understanding is helpful because algebra 2 is not the f last time that you'll see even and odd functions they'll come up in the future uh, even for example when you're looking at Fourier series and that's therefore why I justify that longer uh, thorough discussion on even and odd functions yeah okay to give you a complete understanding but here is the shortcut so that you could do it quickly if you're doing a standardized exam where you know your time didn't it's important to do it quickly uh, so like what you do is look at all the terms and write the exponents on the X wherever they don't appear so here uh, this is X really it's only on X that the exponents don't appear so write the exponent on here and it's clear the exponent is 1 so if on all, all of the terms the exponents of X are odd then the function is odd so we could have very quickly told um, or said that f is odd simply because this x here has an exponent that's odd and this x here too has an exponent that's odd and these are the only terms uh, in the polynomial so that that's it and therefore it comes as no surprise that g is even all of the terms in g have x's that have exponents that are even so g is even done that's it and for h we said it was neither because well Remember, this constant term has an x to the 0. It's the coefficient of x to the 0, right? So if we show that, then it becomes clear that this x has an exponent that's odd. This x has an exponent that's odd, leading us so far to think that the function is odd. But this here, this x has an exponent that's even. So when you've got a mixed bag of even and odd exponents on x, then you say that the function that polynomial function is neither even nor odd and again this shortcut works on polynomials but I thought it's still worth sharing yeah cool alright I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching take care